Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video we are going to talk about the EGS deleting of any data uh, but with the jQuery. Uh, we can use deleting of the data with the full form post packs uh, but primarily we'll be using in this video is jQuery where we'll do some AJAX calls to actually delete the data. Uh, this jQuery would run on the client side, extract some data, pass it on to the post uh, stuff and then actually delete the data. So this is what uh, the video is all about. So let's try and see how we could use jQuery and uh, we could delete the data on the same example which we were continuing in the part fifth video. So the first thing what we are going to do is uh, if we run the application that I was showing in the part uh, fifth also. So this is uh, one route which we created show departments and it would actually show all the departments out here. Now what we need is one more button out here that is called as a delete button uh, which could uh, get the ID and it could get the delete button functionality to actually pass this delete data to a post route. Now there are a couple of things which we'll do. So first thing what we are going to do here is to add our delete button out here. Okay. Now in order to add a delete button, so we'll go on to the show departments view and uh, we are going to have another column. Uh, let's say this is uh, uh, action and something. This is let's say the delete part. Now this delete is going to be actually a button. Uh, so let's say this is a button. I'm going to give a class button and button let's say danger. And I'm also giving one more class called as delete so that every delete button we have three departments so three delete buttons would be there so we'll be using that to see it in action. So if I go back and check it out refresh that so you would see this button starts appearing but fundamentally uh, we would need to actually uh, give the delete text out there and go back and check it out so there is a delete button out here. Okay. Now the second thing is to actually use a jQuery. Now jQuery is a client side library uh, which could be invoked and it doesn't make a full post back. You could do some Ajax calls or anything. So that's what we are fundamentally going to do in this. Now for using jQuery, uh, you could use jQuery CDN and then the first link which you get. So let's say I'm gonna get this, uh, the minified one, copy that out. That's all. And then let's go back within the same show EGS file. Um, before the body tag, we'll just paste it out here. That's the jQuery CDN library we have used. Uh, I'm gonna use another language, uh, though you could create your own uh, uh, JS files like jQuery files, but for the demonstration purpose, I'm just putting it in the same EGS file. So the language would be JavaScript and uh, i'm gonna use the dollar let's say document dot ready and i'm gonna pass a callback function which is there and then finally i'm also going to use this which is the delete so i'll use that dollar because it's a class so you could just use that on that on and i'll say a click event uh, which is function e just pass it and in order to make sure that it is working so we'll just display hello now once we do that we we'll go over there refresh it so if i click on delete it starts giving me hello so if you click on delete over here yes and so on because it's the same class which i have used and the class has one coding uh, which i'm gonna use it over here now the another part which we need to capture out here is when I press this delete I need to capture the ID because I could use a unique ID to actually delete any department or anything. So for that let's try coding it so we don't need this alert and what we are going to do over here is because it's on the delete button so I'll use a dollar dot delete uh, and then sorry I could just use a this dot closest and I could just find out the TR because that whole stuff is in the TR if you see this is table row and table data that's how it is 
uh, going through and I'll put it into a current row because that's the current row it gives me and then I could get uh, fundamentally uh, the first column or the second column so if you see the first column is this one the second column is this one and this is the third column so we could use uh, current row dot find and I'll pass on TD and then equal of colon EQ of zero zero means the first one which I need to find it out and then I could just use uh, dot text property and let's store that in let's say variable uh, ID is equal to this and let's try printing that so ID is okay let's just print ID and see whether we are able to get that ID or not so refresh that yes so you get that okay one so you press this two so if you press this you'll get three so i'm able to get the id so in the similar way you could get like use one to get the department name or two to get the delete button also now what we need to do here is the next step is to actually make an ajax call to a route so that we pass on the id and then the data is actually deleted out here so let's go back to the test uh, express server and let's say create a new route which is a post route for deletion of the data so deletion of the department and what we'll do is we'll say post and i'll say delete department track response and then what you are going to do here is so you're just going to use rec dot let id is equal to rec dot body dot and we'll say uh, this uh, uh, department id something like this this is one important we want to use that and then finally we want to delete from the departments because it's an in the form of an array so wherever it is um, a particular id is there so you would have to write some kind of a logic to delete it from the array uh, rather than um, uh, just like because it's it's not an object so you could just use it directly out here so we'll we'll do it afterwards so let's keep it that way and we'll uh, go on to the show departments uh, over here so we'll make an ajax call dollar dot ajax so the url is uh, delete department that's what the url we created this is the delete department okay and uh, then we'll say method type is equal to post which is another one and then data i'm gonna pass the data with department id which is let's say id so that's this one and once it is success so you see function just want to get something or if there is an error um, you get another function so there's an error object and so on now let's say we say alert data was deleted that looks fine to us and then uh, this is how you could delete it and uh, firstly let's see if we could just pass on the data to that so if we pass on the data and we could just do that console.log id over here now if you just go back to that refresh this out so if i press delete this would go back to the function so the route has received that too now this too has been received and it is gonna be uh, deleted out here so how we could delete that so we could just delete it with the help of uh, what we could do is we could write some logic so let's say uh, this is my new array is equal to so what we could do over here is if so for let's say let uh, d of departments so I'll just use the another one uh, d is equal to zero d less than uh, department start length and uh, d plus plus so 
which is this one. So what we'll do here is, so this is the new array and then we'll uh, create this one. Okay, length and this one is done. So if, so what we are going to do is if we are going to match the ID with the ID of that, if it is not matched, we'll just push that record into uh, the new array. So we'll say if uh, departments of D dot ID is equal to the ID which we received here. So if it is not equal to, I could just use not equal to, then I'll just push it to new array is equal new array dot push. And I could just use departments of D. So this would push the whole object. That looks fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going through those where the ID is not matching. I'm just pushing it. I'm removing the ID one, which is meshing. So it means if I have ID two, one and three would be pushed, two would be removed. And then finally, I could just say departments is equal to new array so that it gets the new one. And then finally, uh, because it's an Ajax query, so you could just send it to uh, response dot uh, JSON. So let's say record deleted. That looks fine. And finally, once it is done, so you go back to the show departments over here, the data was or let's say department was deleted. And we could just use window dot location dot href is equal to. So we'll just use localhost 3000 and show the departments again. So let's try and see whether uh, we are able to delete a department uh, by pressing a button or not. So if we click on the delete, yes, the department was deleted, we get an alert. Okay, but yes, it's not actually deleting it. Uh, sometimes uh, what probably would be the issue is because we are using an if condition, uh, this particular ID which we are receiving from the uh, uh, the rec dot body uh, is normally treated as a string and here we are treating it as an integer. So what we'll do is we'll try to convert it into parse end and then actually use it. Now, once we use it like this, uh, so let's see if we could just go back, refresh that. So now if I press the delete, yes, okay. So yes, that department is deleted. So if I press number three, department is deleted and it is cleared. So you could see the jQuery is actually uh, helping us to uh, get all that stuff. So we actually use the closest TR to find that and then get the TD to get the text for the ID or the department number. And then we are just making an Ajax call to actually push that to a post request where it actually goes through all the rows. We are actually deleting it by finding where the ID is matching and rest the window.location.href is just doing the trick for us because it actually renders the same one, not refreshes the full page, but the href has done that and it gets those two departments from again. So I go. I hope, guys, uh, this video is going to help you out in doing uh, jQuery stuff uh, with the deletion option. Uh, jQuery is a very powerful client-side library. Of course, there are so many frameworks now like React or Angular or Vue, but still jQuery has its importance. It had its run. Uh, and fundamentally, if you are still using jQuery in some legacy projects, you could use it in that way. I'll be coming up with some more videos. So stay tuned and have a good one. Thank you.